There is a feature that's been missing from Final Cut Pro for far too long. That is until today. I have this logo and I want to move it around inside of my viewer. So of course I'm just going to go down to my transform tool and now I have access to move this in the X and Y direction and we can rotate it on the Z axis as well as scaling it up. But what if I want to add some 3D rotation to my object? Well unfortunately if we come on over to the rotation in our transform panel you'll notice that we only have rotation on a single axis. Now if you've used Final Cut Pro for very long you've probably encountered dozens dozens of free tools that allow you to add 3D rotation to your objects. But they are almost all missing a super significant feature on screen controls. As it is, you always need to make adjustments directly here on the right hand panel using just numbers. And that's just not a very intuitive design. So I'm super excited to announce that I'm releasing a completely free 3D transform tool for Final Cut Pro that has on-screen controls. To get access to it, just follow the links down below to my Motion Tools free bundle. After you've installed it, you'll open up your effects and locate it under either Motion Tools or Motion Tools Free, depending on which version you've gotten previously. It applies just like any other effect in Final Cut Pro. I'll click and drag that onto my layer, and now if I mouse over that object, you should notice this white box show up, indicating the bounds of the object. If I click on it, you should immediately notice these 3D controls with these small circles. So now, using the circle on the left, I can rotate it on the Y value. Using the circle on top, we can rotate it in the X direction. And finally, using the circle on the far right, we can rotate it on the Z axis, just like we could previously. But not only that, we can hold down shift while rotating the object, and you'll notice that it's going at 45 degree increments. Plus, if you take a look at the top, you can actually see the specific values that we are rotating to if you need that particular information. And then there's also these on-screen controls for moving in the X direction, the Y direction, and even the Z direction so we can push or pull this object. And all of this is fully keyframable here on the right hand side. But that is far from everything that this particular plugin can do because we can also go ahead and rotate our object all the way around and now we should be seeing a flipped version of our object. But if we go over to fill back face and check this box, now the backside of our object is going to be filled with whatever color we want. And if you wanted to take it a step further, Further, you can even change that over to a gradient. So here's the normal side and here is the back side. I'm gonna go ahead and disable the fill back face for now. Scrolling further down in our options, you're gonna see a whole bunch of camera controls. One of those being the angle of view. So if I drag this up, you can see how it's stretching out my image. This compresses it and stretches it out. Plus we can even add in some depth of field. So I'll just drag this up and you can see how we're really blurring those edges. I can adjust the focus offset as I want to. And like I said, all of these are key frameable. So if you need to adjust your focus on your object, you can do just that. At the bottom, you'll see that we have the option of drop shadow. So I can go ahead and add that in, drag up the distance and blur, and we should be good to go. So that's all super cool, but you might have noticed a significant problem while I was dragging this around. And that is, if I drag this over to the left side, the edges immediately get cut off. And the reason for that is because we are working with a one by one layer. This is just how Final Cut Pro works inherently and there's nothing I can do to the plugin to get around this, but there's a super easy fix you can do on your end. Go ahead and first delete the 3D transform effect that you've applied and select the layer that you want to be conformed to 16 by nine. Right click on it and then select new compound clip. Now from there we can push OK and if we were to apply the 3D transform effect we would no longer have those issues. I can move this object way off to the left or right, we can fully rotate it, we can adjust the angle of view, we can do absolutely everything to this and because it's conformed to 16 by 9 we're not going to run into any of those issues. And that leads me to the last huge feature that this 3D transform tool has and that is auto animation. 
What we can do with our object is move it to whatever state we want. So let's move it to the top right, rotate it on the Z a little bit, maybe rotate it on the Y. We could completely flip it over if we wanted to. Plus we could even enable the fill back face option. So we have all of that going on and to auto animate to this position, we just need to go up to the top and select animate in. You could even select animate out if you want it to animate back to its original position. So if we push play, we can see that animation takes place and it moves to where we finally located it to. There are many limitations with this animation feature, but hopefully it can get you one step closer to accomplishing your vision inside of Final Cut Pro. So like I said, this is available to you completely free down below. It's included in my Motion Tools free bundle, which comes with 10 free tools for Final Cut Pro. But if you wanna take Final Cut Pro to the absolute next level, I strongly recommend you take a look at the Motion Tools complete pack, which adds another 100 tools and effects to Final Cut Pro to level up your editing. Not only do you get access to the 3D transform tool and grow, shrink, and motion path. But if you scroll down this massive list, you're gonna see a ton of different effects to play around with. For example, a basic one being this offset tool. Maybe you want to animate your logo continually moving over to the right or left. We can just drag up the horizontal offset just like so, and it will animate for us. Maybe you want to extend out your logo and make it look even more 3D dimensional. We could add the extrude filter, and you can see how I can stretch that out. We could change this over to gradient shading. You could expand out that gradient, make it whatever colors you want. Or maybe you want to add in this wave replicator effect. I'll apply that. Let's change the color mode back to original and we'll adjust the placement of this. We can drag the points way up. We could adjust the amplitude and now we could even affect the phase and we could animate this phase to get this really bizarre looking animation. Another super cool effect is the light rays effect. So I'll apply that on and stretch it out. And I've even added in an additional feature that wasn't there originally. And that is that you can change the blend mode on this effect. So I'll set it to screen. And now we've got this really cool and interesting glow. There's this super cool page curl effect that you can animate in as you please. And lastly, one of my most used effects inside of this bundle is the defocus blur because you can apply it onto say this background layer and we'll drag up the amount. And if you take Take a look at the blur it's creating, it's much more accurate to a real camera lens. So unlike the Gaussian blur effect, which we can see here where it's more of a uniform blur, we can go ahead and add in the defocus blur and deselect the Gaussian blur. And you can see how the highlights of this background image are getting more of a bokeh shape. So it looks like we're actually shooting this through the camera. And what's really amazing is you can add this on using the magnetic mask and get a much more realistic blur to your backgrounds. So if you're interested in either Motion Tools Free or Motion Tools Complete, you can check out the links down below to get that. Plus, I'm gonna have a special discount code for you down below as a thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's helpful to you in some way. And if it is, consider pressing that like button as it does help a ton. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one.